Assalamualaikum alaikum dear students how are you i hope you will all be fine so today we have to start the active and passive voice with present perfect tense we have already finished with present indefinite tense we have finished with present continuous tense and the next tense which we have selected for active and passive voice is present perfect tense so let's start with the lecture So in the case of positive sentences, which are also called affirmative sentences, you can see the structure formula over here. The active sentence is, I have written a story. And if you want to change it into passive voice, the structure formula is there. You have to apply this structure formula on the sentence and you will be, you, it will be very easy for you people just to change it from active voice into passive voice. If you want to change a negative sentence from active voice into passive voice with present perfect tense, so this is the structure formula which you are supposed to apply to the sentence and you can easily change it from active into passive voice. Yes, in the case of interrogative sentences, we are, here we have the structure formula with the passive sentences. First of all, you will have to learn this structure formula in a very, very proper manner. Once you know the structure formula, then there will be no mistake at all while you'll be changing an active sentence into a passive voice. Sometimes we have negative interrogative sentences and we have to change them from active voice to passive voice. So there is no need to worry at all. We also have a structure formula just to change them. Learn this structure formula and you can easily change a negative interrogative sentence from active into passive voice. Yes, here we have some rule with WH question words. When the active sentences begin with a question word, which are then, where, which, why, the passive sentence will also begin with a question word. It means that a question word, all the WH words will come in the beginning of the sentence. When the active sentence begins with who or whose, the passive sentence will begin with by whom or by whose. It is a very, very important point. And most of the time, the students, they make their mistakes. They don't know how to change it. When the active sentence begins with whom, the passive sentence will begin with who. This is, again, a very, very important point, which you have to keep in mind when you will be changing the sentences with question word or with WH word. So I hope that today's lecture would be very useful for you people. These are the different examples where it will be very easy for you people with all those sentences which are beginning with WH word. So the construction of the sentence is very important. First of all, learn the structure formula and then try to apply it on the sentences. So there will be no mistake at all when you will be doing the question word sentences because they are always very tricky. So first of all, your structure formula should be accurate. So in this way, you can easily change them from active into passive word. So I hope that today's lecture would be very, very useful for all the students. You must try it and you must practice the sentences as many times as possible. Okay, students, Allah Hafiz.